Hi, my name is Serena Ray, and I'm here with Ash. Uh, do you know what Pick With Austin is? Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> could you explain it to some people that might not? Absolutely. Uh, from my understanding, Pick With Austin identifies at-risk at -risk youths who are at risk for depression and offers them the gift of music. Yes. And uh, lately they've added veterans with PTSD because that is also a big uh, area with anti-suicide right there. Uh, why are you here today? Well, more often than not, people are afraid to start a dialogue about the state of mental health and mental illness in this country. And I feel that this particular organization is doing a lot of good, especially with the youths. They are most at risk for depression because they have yet to develop a sense of scale. They don't understand that perceived catastrophes in their life will go away and they'll bounce back. So by offering them this opportunity to channel their negative energy and their depression into music, into something positive, into something constructive, is something that I support wholeheartedly. Okay. Uh, do you know anybody who has had thoughts or possibly committed suicide? Yes. Uh, in 2006, my brother's high school, Mishamini High School in Levittown, Pennsylvania, had four young people commit suicide within the span of several months. As a result, they developed a suicide task force to help these students and educate them on suicide awareness, suicide prevention. I personally had several of my close friends commit and succeed. Commit suicide and succeed, and yours truly has had suicidal thoughts and suffered from depression. Thankfully, however, I've had a lot of very kind educators and family members and friends who have supported me. And unfortunately, I wasn't there in time for my friends that did lose themselves to depression. So yes, I do know a lot of people who have had suicidal thoughts, committed suicide, and had depression. This might be a hard question uh, to answer, but what was it like going through your thoughts of suicide and depression? Honestly, I didn't think about anybody else except for myself. I harbored a lot of self-loathing. I, in hindsight, couldn't see any possible way out. There were a lot of uh, pressures put on me for school, my home life, societal pressures, even social pressures in my circle of friends. I felt completely and totally isolated and alone. Uh, I, I can't even explain how much self-loathing I harbored for no, for no reason. I, I simply felt done with living and being alive. In fact, I remember distinctly thinking, if I were to commit suicide, I would want to do it in a nice, clean way so that no one would have to clean up my mess. So in, in a way, it was a very selfish, isolated frame of thought that I was in. And I very much did not allow anybody into my life that could put me on a path to positivity and not having depression. <laughs> yeah, and I'm very glad you got over that because you, you seem like a very uh, fun person to be around. Well, that, that's very kind of you to say. Thank you. A depression really is a daily battle. It's a matter of understanding what is within your power to control, what is not within your power to control, and essentially accepting that in the end everything is going to be okay. And I've developed this philosophy, again thanks to my educators, to my friends and family, that as long as I go through each and every day with the intent of being kind to other people, doing unto others as I would have them do unto me, and learning something new, even if I am fighting depressing thoughts or feelings of depression, I still get a lot of fulfillment and joy out of living every day. So these suicidal thoughts are on the back burner of my mind, and some nights I will examine them. And I am still technically suffering from depression, but it's the way you approach life and the way you approach your passion that can allow those feelings to stay on the back burner and not control how you live your life. And do you have any thoughts of how suicide prevention and PTSD could be improved? My first suggestion would be to get the entire country to start a dialogue on the importance of examining mental, health and mental illness, mental health, and depression. Getting people to just talk about it, be open and honest, accept that these thoughts of depression, that these suicidal feelings, suicidal feelings, for the great majority of the population are natural. 
and that it's perfectly normal to have them, and it's okay to talk about them and work through them. More often than not, there's this polarized perspective that if people are depressed, then they're crazy, then there's no helping them. That's not true. Even the most stable person on the outside can be depressed on the inside. Yeah. It's just a matter of developing a sense of awareness, starting a dialogue, and stressing the importance to everybody that we're all human beings with feelings. Yes. Uh, thank you for answering all my questions, and have a nice day. Again, Serena with Ash.